Hello everyone. I hope you are well. Uh, today I will show you how to customize your data and visualize in Excel within 30 minutes. Like uh, if you have the data in Notepad, we need to import this data into Excel, right? Most of the software or programming languages use Excel or CSV file because it is convenient, okay, and easy to customize our data. So here you can see data uh, is like the daily maximum temperature in degrees Celsius. I have uh, I have collected the data from Bangladesh Meteorological Department, right? So may you may have such, such kind of data. Here you can see four static marks, right? This means this is a missing data, like there is no data in this point, right? So before you uh, use your Excel file or CSV file in uh, Python or MATLAB or NCL or CRASH or R, whatever you use, you need to fix this missing value, right? You need to identify the missing value. Uh, in programming language, <coughs> uh, minus 99.9 .9 is convenient. Okay, so here we can replace this asterisk by minus 99.9. .9. So, mask case and wrap around. So, replace all. Here, now we can see asterisk marks replaced by minus 99.9. So, now you can identify the missing value right so save the file now we want to import this file in uh, this <coughs> file okay so here you need to go to the data so in data you can see uh, some options like uh, from text file you can import from OF you can from Microsoft Access or maybe from other sources right you have different uh, maybe from the XML or from OData or uh, other connection uh, wizard, etc. etc. So, our data is in text format, right? So, click on text format and uh, we know our data in desktop, right? This is a file. Then we want to delimit, okay? So, delimit it with space. So, we want to input our data with. Uh, <clears throat> column and row right then next here uh, delimit uh, uh, okay delimiters is like tab then we want to space space okay so tab and space check these two options then next here uh, the column data format in general so you just keep it then finish then here say where do you want to put the data so here existing worksheet, like if you want to keep our data here or uh, if you want to keep your data in new worksheet, if that's your choice, you can um, keep like I want to keep here, okay? So, okay. Now, our data in Excel, right? So I want to uh, customize your data now. So this is the index, this is the year. Uh, from 1980 to <clears throat> 1981 to uh, 2019, right? <clears throat> and we have the month, like from January to December. And we have the day, like every month we have the day. So day from 1 to 31, okay? So now, <clears throat> I want to just, okay, I want to delay. I want to delete the index. I don't need this thing. Okay. Now, okay, this is month, right? This, I want to delete this row. Now I insert another row here, uh, the day. So, Convenient. I want to merge this cell and give this cell is day. Okay. So now <clears throat> so 
now our data is in Excel. So uh, now we can maybe sum, average, or etc. etc. We can customize our data now, maybe year wise, or monthly, or daily. Now your data in Excel is very easy, right? Other things you need to remember here you can sort your data like ascending order, uh, smallest to largest, or descending order, right? So even you can filter, or if you have any duplicate. Uh, any duplicate value so you can <clears throat> remove them right then this is the uh, issue you can uh, customize your data by yourself it's very easy okay now your data is ready now you can use uh, this data to in your MATLAB NCL or GRASS or R then you, you can do more analysis right so we, we just save now we want to uh, visualize our data so for example here i have the data from 1980 to 1995 right this is a rainfall data in millimeter so i want to uh, visualize the data like i want to make uh, here you see the histogram or line or pie chart or scatter plot is uh, like is area plot etc etc radar diagram etc etc okay so if we want to visualize our data so that select and insert like i want to make this histogram <coughs> uh, right then <coughs> bar chart this is a bar then uh, i want to okay i want to delete this okay then I, I, I want to give the outline in black okay this is a rainfall so maybe you don't need to give the title here uh, uh, this is a year so we want to give the X label and Y label right if you want to give the label here is in the plus sign so if you want to give the exist title like here I know this is the year right okay <clears throat> this is a year and this is <clears throat> rainfall okay rainfall in millimeter okay okay so and uh, you can other things like if you want to if the error bar is fine you can give error bar listen if you want to give the train if you want to give the train you can add the train line right so you can give the train line etc etc so i want to give the error bar so this is a nice <coughs> so these are bars are now i want to make plot visualize our data for i to give the scalar color right so here I want to make a scatter plot so I don't want to no grid so I want to make the outline now here you see the our data is from like 4D so I want to format axis here you can see the minimum is 0 and maximum is 60 right but a minimum is I want to keep 35 and <clears throat> okay maximum 60 major 10 or 2 like here you can use the label to yeah so you can low or high in low then you can use the format okay now our figure is looks good I want I don't want to keep the title okay now I want to add the uh, exist title. This is year, okay. <clears throat> year and this is rainfall, okay. Rainfall millimeter, okay. Now I want to add the equation, the trend line. So here there is uh, more options like linear exponential linear focus right 
So there's more options. So if a linear, then you can uh, display the equation on chart, display the R square. Okay. So there are other options. If you, you, you can uh, add moving average. Okay. So moving average, then etc. etc. Okay. So it's up to you. Hmm? But if you just uh, put the linear, you see there is like uh, <coughs> the equation y is equal, you know, this is a regression, right? y is equal ax plus c, then r square is 0 0.3, r square there is a total variation, right? Total variance. So here, even you can, if you want to add the moving average, you can add it. So now uh, we learn how to uh, make the scalar plot, right? We also want to make other plots. Okay, like figure here. Uh, if you want to make pie chart, you can a uh, pie chart like this, uh, this, this, etc., etc. Okay, you can give the. If you want to give the bar chart, okay, and uh, that was the <coughs> uh, this one uh, the vertical vertical bar. And if you want to make the horizontal bar, even you can make horizontal bar okay sorry see yeah even you can make the horizontal bar okay so here uh, we need to do something more this yeah so no you know this is here and this is rainfall so yeah. this is the horizontal you get with error but even you can make uh, the area okay even you can make this kind of sorry this is not the data so even may you can make like radar or etc etc okay i can make radar or yeah like this if you want to make the radar plots you can make right there is also there is an option you can change the color like you can change the color if you want to add some elements you can add like then if you want to change the file type like in different you can want if you want to change like this you can change from there okay so this is all about <coughs> the excel excel is more convenient right now there is a question if you want to export this figure I like uh, export this figure in uh, 300 dpi because most of the journals uh, journal require the high resolution figure right so if you want to export this figure so you need to use the excel toolbar so this is called the daniel toolbar uh, you can download it's free uh, sorry just need to search the, the Daniel Daniel toolbox uh, toolbox yeah Daniel this is a Daniel toolbox so you need you just need to download this is a free you need to download and install and just add to the Excel so here I uh, just click on in this export section you can export you see it's 300 dpi okay so there if you want to change the dpi you can change it but 300 is high resolution uh, and it's required for <coughs> every journal right so export it to desktop and to give for the name is the data okay and uh, let's see
See, our figure is there, so you can export your data in high resolution. Okay, so this is all about in Excel. I think it will help you to customize your data and uh, uh, visualize in Excel, right? So if you are new here, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you. See you next time. Bye.